Today's lesson is 5.1, place value, tens and ones. Our objective is to provide experiences with place value concepts for tens and ones. Our learning target today is I can build and name numbers less than 100 with base 10 blocks. Today, we will be exploring place value. Place value looks at the little parts that make larger numbers. For example, when we look at the number 393, place value lets us see all the littler parts that build that big number. I can tell that there are three ones, there are nine groups of 10, and there are three groups of 100 to build that big number 393. So it lets me see all of those separate parts. Today, we will use base 10 blocks to build and name numbers. We've seen base 10 blocks before. Units are small individual cubes. They're worth one. Longs are worth 10 because 10 small units can make one long. Flats are something you've probably seen before, but we haven't used yet. Flats are worth 100. So 100 units make one flat. Cubes are worth 1,000. So 1,000 units go into one cube. Today, we're going to be focusing on units and longs. You might hear them referred to as ones and tens. Can you think of a time when you've used units and longs in math before? Pause video now. Today we will use our tens and ones mat to build and read numbers. Open up to page 81 in your math journal. Pause video now. On your mat, place three tens and four ones. Pause video now. What number do these base 10 blocks represent or show? Pause video. You're right. On our mats, we built the number 34. We know this because when I look, there are three tens, and here I see one, two, three groups of 10 or 30, and four ones. One, two, three, four, or four. So three groups of 10 plus four ones makes the number 34. Clear your boards. We're going to try another. On your boards, place five tens or five longs and two units. Think about what number do these base 10 blocks represent or show? If you get done early, Build the number 86. How many ones did you use? How many tens did you use? Pause video now. Great job. You built the number 52. 
There are five longs or tens and two ones or units. We can also say that there is a five in the tens place and a two in the ones place. Clear your boards. We're going to build a new number. On your boards, place two longs or two tens and 15 ones or 15 units. I want you to think about what number is shown or represented by these tens and ones. Done early. What number is this? Four tens and 17 ones. Pause video now. Wow, you had some great insight. I heard some students suggest that we turn our two longs into 20 cubes or units and count the total number of ones from there. I also heard students noticing that there was a group of 10 ones. We know that 10 ones makes one 10 rod. Because of that, I can trade those 10 ones for one 10 rod. That makes it easier for me to see. Now, I can see right away that there are three tens in the tens place. And there is one, two, three, four, five ones in the one place. That lets me know that we built the number 35. In the number 35, there is three groups of 10 and five units or five ones. Now you try. Turn to page 82 in your math journal. You will be solving tens and ones riddles. Remember to use your base 10 blocks. We are focusing on our unit cubes and our longs. Remember, unit cubes represent ones and longs represent tens. Good luck.